Okay, so for problem 4.40, we want to solve the example 4.2 using the constant voltage drop diode model. And I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the solution for this problem. So for 4.40, here's this first circuit, right? Uh, ground, some diode here that we replace with a 0.7 volt source, a node, the diode there, resistor. 10 volts, 10 kilo ohms, right? These are 0.7 volt sources. Okay, negative 10. And this is a five kilo ohm resistor. Uh, five kilo ohms. All right, so if we're grounded here, then that makes this node voltage negative 0.7. So then that makes this a current of negative 0.7 minus negative 10 over 5 kilo ohms, so 9.3 over 5 kilo ohms. That makes this a 1.83 milliamp current drawn. 1.86. 1.86. And uh, so if this is negative 0.7, and this is 0.7, right? And right here, we should have zero. And so that means there would be a current going through here, 10 volts divided by 10 kilo ohms, which would be one milliamp, right? See that, we are at negative seven, ground to negative 0.7, back up to zero. So we have, now we go, we have one milliamp in, 1.86 milliamps out, so that would require 0.86 milliamps this way. Yeah. That's right, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So so then okay. So we we're looking for V zero and we we're looking for I 0.86 milliamps. Okay, let's do the next one. Um so again I'm gonna just draw the circuit ground diode diode voltage V five kilo ohm resistor, 10 volts. Same thing, negative two? Okay. Two. Uh, if this is ground and this is negative 0.7, we're assuming that it's beyond, that's what I'm doing here. Um, and if we're assuming the diode to be on, then it's conducting and uh, we're assuming it to have a voltage drop of 0.7 volts. Otherwise, um, the diode is off, it's an open circuit and it's not conducting any current and the voltage drop across it, well, it would depend, right? So, hmm. So yeah, we're at negative 0.7 volts here. So that means we have a current here of 9.3 over 10 kilo ohms or 0.93 milliamps. And so we're at negative point seven here, that means we're at zero here. And so that means we have a current here of two milliamps, from 10 to zero over five kiloamps. So that means we have two milliamps in, 0.93 milliamps out. So we would need another 1.07 milliamps in this direction. Well, that we can't have that because the diode is in this direction and we're not, we're modeling these ideal these diodes as a pretty ideal so that if they're they're either conducting in the forward direction with a drop of 0.7 volts or they're open circuited so um I'm, I'm sorry i couldn't explain that in like a more elegant way but yeah um so if we can't have that then we have to change our approximation that this diode is on to this diode is off. So just open circuit. So just open circuit. Um, so that means this current I is now zero. And uh, this is the circuit that we're left with. And uh, so, So 
So you know how to deal with a circuit like this. You can combine the resistances and the voltages and use Ohm's law to find that there's a current going through there equal to uh, 10 minus negative 10 plus 0.7 volts over 15 kilo ohms is 1.29 milliamps. And so if we're at 10 volts here and we have this current through that five kilo ohm resistor, then we can find the voltage here by doing 10 minus five kilo ohms times 1.29 milliamps, and we'll get 3.56 volts at B. Yeah, there you go.